Welcome back guys, it's FPS Killer here, and today I'm going to be comparing the performance difference in between Intel Core required Q6600 running at stock and overclock speeds. Okay guys, so not a long time ago somebody has actually asked me to do a performance comparison in between the Q6600 running at stock speeds and overclocked speeds. So the maximum on my motherboard I can currently do is 3 GHz, sadly. That's because I have a BIOS hacked motherboard which isn't even meant for overclocking, so that's the highest I can go, 3 GHz is the highest I can go. So what I'll be doing today is I'll be going into the BIOS and changing overclock speeds back to stock. And I'll be comparing um, the p performance in programs like Cinebench and comparing the score in between uh, overclocked and stock. So basically what I'm going to do right now is restart my PC, go into the BIOS and apply 3.4GHz, which is stock. Okay guys, I'm back and as you can see I'm running at the stock speeds at 3.4GHz. AI overclocking is on auto, which means there is no overclock on the CPU. Uh, my fan speed is on performance mode and this is our current temperatures we are getting 39 degrees celsius on the CPU temperature and the MB temperature is getting 31 degrees celsius so what I will do right now is I will boot into windows and I will open up Cinebench, Signbench or how do you call it, I don't care but what I'm going to be doing is a benchmark and seeing what score we get and then I'm going to boot into the overclock and see uh, is there any difference so I'll see you in a second guys Okay guys, so I have Cinebench loaded up right now, and what I'm going to be doing right now is running the CPU test, and we're going to see what the score is like. So I'm going to fast forward this, because obviously it will be a little bit boring to watch all of the benchmark, so yeah, let's just do it. Okay guys, so the benchmark has finished and we got a score of 237. So what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm going to restart the computer and set it to 3 GHz. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back in the BIOS right now. And as you can see in CPU configuration, I am running at 3.99 GHz, which is very, very close to 3 GHz. And uh, as you can see, all the settings are enabled and I am running at ratio 9.0. This is to keep the overclock very stable and not make the CPU keep changing frequencies. And these are my voltages. NB voltage, CPU, VTT, over voltage, you know, all the normal things. And in power, hardware monitor, as you can see, our temperatures have raised a little bit, and I'm still running at the same fan speed. So I'm gonna boot into the computer, and I'll see you guys when I've got the benchmark running. Okay guys, so I'm currently in Cinebench, and as you can see, if I go here very quickly, over here is our old score, which is 237, 237 on 2.4 GHz, 2.41 to be very exact. And what we're going to try doing is beating that score, so let's start the benchmark. Let me just get the camera to position, focus it, and let's run it. Okay guys, so the benchmark has finished and by the old clock we have got about a 50 score higher difference. So basically this means overclocking can improve your performance. I've tested out Battlefield 4 and I got up to 
a 10 FPS boost in 64 players, which is pretty amazing just for overclocking. And temperatures didn't rise a lot, they raised only by like 5 to 7 degrees Celsius in games when it's really, really stressing it out. And I looked into an MSI afterburner and there was no problem at all. No overheating, no blue screens, nothing like that. I did the CPU Prime benchmark for one hour and there was no problem with this uh, setting that I'm using. So that is your answer to the guy that gave me the question, is overclocking worth it on your Q6600? So thanks for watching guys, please go and like, subscribe and I'll see you next time, peace out.